character has been reset properly, pivots have been reset properly. This will save you a lot of problems. As far as pivots go, make sure that the pivots of your character are actually situated in the middle of the uh, character. And I prefer to actually have them sitting right at 0, 0, 0 in world space. That way I know where the mesh actually starts in any given character once I get into a scene. Size of character can also cause problems too. If you have your characters way too large or way too small, you can have other issues. IK solvers can become hard to handle. Um, you could be using other effects uh, like afterburn or um, trying to do depth of field and you'll find that the values that are, are having to be used are either too small or too large for those. You can also run into problems with uh, mirroring and um, welding vertices together. And if the values are way too small, you might start getting overlaps. What I have found is that working approximately to a world, real world scale with max default setup. The max default set it is one generic unit equals one inch. In this case, I've made this character exactly 100 units high, and that means he's about 8 foot 4 in real world uh, size. This will work really well for us um, when it comes down to many different areas of, of working. One of the things I like to do with all of my uh, character is just make it um, transparent and freeze it while I'm working with it. I'm just going to change the geometry here and I'm going to uh, freeze the character so that it is frozen and I can't accidentally select it. But first I'm going to go to properties. I'm going to say see-through so that the whole character becomes see-through. And then I'm going to go about freezing the character so the character is frozen. I can't accidentally pick it. I'm going to get rid of my tape measure here that I used just to show the 100 units high because we don't need it anymore. I start all my rigging in the left viewport. Create the spinal columns so that you know you're uh, developing everything on the center line. Another good thing to make note of when you're actually building the mesh is that it should be standing on zero and centered out in zero. This way everything you know you create you can mirror to the other side and know exactly where it should be on the other side based on numerical values. Just going to turn off the grid. For the spinal column, we're going to look at his waist somewhere around here, and that'll be the center of mass, center of gravity for this character. We're going to start with one bone going down and three or four going up, and then one in the neck and one in the head. I'm going to go to Create System Bones, where you find the bones. And what I find is with a character at uh, 100 units high, you actually have to change the size of bones down quite small or else they'll come out very large at the uh, default size. That's a size 10. You can see that it creates a bone far too large. I'm going to start with one around at a value of 4. And you can see it creates a bone that's a little better size or one of a size of 2. And you can see it again, it's a bit better size again. I always start with one bone going down, and that is going to be basically the hip bone. This way we can swing the hips without having to deal with um, swinging the, the upper body. For the upper spine, in this case, I'm only going to use a three bone setup up to the base of the neck. And I like to separate all of my parts so that I can easily break the character up into pieces. It also makes it easier to reuse a rig. So I'm also going to create a neck bone and a head bone as well. We now need to make sure that these are all in the correct places. Under character you'll find bone tools. Bone tools is a set of scripted utilities that helps make it a little bit easier to adjust and work with the bones in Max. Some of them are just global tools so you don't have to keep going back to the modifier panel one bone at a time. Other tools are, are bone edit mode. Bone edit mode allows you to be able to grab bones and move them without moving their children. It's actually the same tool as 
don't affect children.